Welcome to Eaglehorn. Eaglehorn is a PHP MVC framework for developing applications rapidly. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Eaglehorn and how to connect with MySQL database for various operations like create, read, delete, and update. So let's get started. Eaglehorn uses Composer for its installation. If you're not aware of Composer, then it is a dependency manager for PHP. It's really a very modular way to work with your projects. You can install Composer either locally or globally. I prefer installing it globally as it allows me to access Composer from anywhere on my system. To install Composer, these are the two different commands that you need to type into your terminal to install Composer. I have already installed Composer and to test your installation, you can just type Composer, hit enter and it gives you a bunch of options. So once you're done installing Composer, let's go ahead and create our first application. To create your first application via Composer, just copy this line and paste it in your terminal along with your application name. In this case, it should be user. Now Composer takes some amount of time to create this project and load all its dependencies. So let's go ahead and get into PHP My Admin where I have already created a database by the name user and it already has a table users with four columns inside. We are just going to create, read, delete and update from this database. The installation is still in progress. All right, so let's see what this command does. Composer dump outload would be the second command for you. What this does is it is going to map all the namespaces with your file paths so that Eaglehorn gets to know which namespace corresponds to which file path. So let's copy this function and keep it ready. All right, now we are done with the installation. Let's move into our user directory and paste this function, paste this command. Let's open it into in some editor. For this demo, I'm going to use Sublime Editor. So the first thing is I'm going to configure is the URL. In our case, it's going to be blog, sorry, it's going to be user. And also I need to change my database from blog to user. If you have a password for your MySQL configuration, don't forget to input it here. So now we are done with the configuration. Let's go ahead and check if things are in place. All right. So now we get the get started page, which means that our installation was successful. By default, Eaglehorn comes with a default controller and a welcome model. So I'm, I'm going to use the same controller and the model for this demo, but you can create a different controller for your understanding. I'm going to delete the index function and write a new function, which is create user. I'm going to keep my data ready. I'll add first name as John, last name as Smith, and email as johnsmith at gmail.com. Next, we are going to insert this into our model. Let's get into our welcome model and create the method create user. This is going to accept data from our controller and it is going to insert it into the table which is users and it's going to insert this data. We are going to return this as we would like to know what is the ID it returned. Now before we do that, we need to create an instance of this model. We can do this by simply typing this model is equal to this load model welcome model. Now what this does is it creates an instance and stores it inside this variable. And as this is inside the constructor, I can always access this variable from anywhere or from any method inside this class. So let's go ahead and access that model and access the create user method and pass our data array. We are going to echo this out so that we get to know what is the ID. So now let's get into the welcome controller and create user method and see if it works. 
So there we go. We see ID as one, which means that it has inserted our first user. Let's go ahead and insert a few more users. John Smith, let's create as John Dave. And I'm going to change this as John Dave. Let's refresh this page. And there we go, too. Let's insert another user, Foo. bar foobar at gmail.com now I'm going to refresh this and create another duplicate user so that we can delete this user so let's go ahead and delete the duplicated user so you can see we have all the records here there's a duplicate user but before that let's go let's go and read all these users read users so I can just use this model read users it is going to return me one output which I can just display as an array let's go ahead and create this method in our welcome model It is going to return me this select users now let's go ahead and run this method so as you can see it's very easy to get users to insert users so we have a duplicated user let's go ahead and delete this record whose ID is 4 I'm going to create another method which will be delete user I'll pass this ID from my URL and I'm going to this model delete user whose ID is this Pass the ID here delete from users table here you need to give the where condition where our ID is colon ID and then we are going to use the bind array the bind array will contain the value of the ID If you are aware of PDO, then you should have no problem using this method. So once we are done with this, let's return this so that it gives me how many records it deleted. And I'm going to echo this out. So let's go ahead and delete the user, which is number four. delete user which is number four and it has successfully deleted one user now if you refresh this it's gone so that's how you delete a user let's go ahead and change foobar to something else let's make it uh, James Smith function update user I think for this demo, just let's make the the email as uh, foo at gmail.com. So I'm going to pass which ID I'm going to change and the new email. You can pass the ID and the new email. I'm going to echo this so it will tell me how many records it updated. It should be one. Function update user get the ID, get the email, which is the new email. Now the way to update a user is the format of updating any any anything is this 
update this is going to be your table name this is this is what you're going to set and this is going to be your where condition followed by bind so let's go ahead and try to make it this update I'm going to update my users table I am going to set which I'll be creating shortly and this is my where condition I can just write where ID is equal to ID and then the bind so let's create this array set so what I'm going to set is I'm going to set my email to new email and then I'm going to pass the value of new email through my bind array so the first thing that we need to pass is ID and our ID is this and then the new email and we are going to return this so let's go ahead and check this out update user so I'm going to update user number 3 and I'm going to change it to foo at gmail.com now if I refresh this our user got updated so that's the way to use Eaglehorn for your database queries I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next tutorial series, I'll be talking more about various features of Eaglehorn like router, like how to create fancy URLs, how to use workers, how to load views and templates. Uh, if you have any suggestion, please do let me know. Thank you.